damn the slaps. Hello there mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Little Misfortune. Here she is right there, right on the screen. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Oh, that one on the left there is completely new, whereas the one on under my shoulder right here is not. We've seen her quite a bit. Uh, we are seeing more and more of these children pop up as well. What's in this rubbish bin? Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. <laughs> That's pretty much how life is going. Okay, there's a little uh, diorama here. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... Oh, okay, so we have to choose now. We could either break the window or tell a lie. I think we tell a lie. I don't want to lose my rock just yet. I'll tell a lie so he believes it. A lie, Miss Fortune. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I mean, that's the only way to get inside. Trust me. All right, let's go. Maybe we'll try lie, but lying is a slippery slope. But I think if we remain conscious that we are in fact lying, we won't become liars. Hey, remember? What? Fantasmagoria. What are you talking about? Hmm, nothing. I want to go to Phantasmagoria. Horror Expo, that's that's right up my alley. Okay, let's run our malnourished ass over here and we'll do a lie to this uh, ticket vendor. We'll throw some glitter around, actually. I think some glitter right here would be a good idea. It didn't do anything, but I think I just blinded that driver, so he might have an accident. That Hello. could distract uh, this guy. Excuse me, there's one of the missing children at the bus stop. I just saw her. You may want to go and check it out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, it worked. Hey, you, you gotta wait until uh, they're not around before you say, yes, that was a lie. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. Yay! <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. I'm calling Poppycock. I think this narrator is absolutely not on our side. Also, I couldn't help but notice while I was editing these videos that there was a strong sense of the preservation of innocence that the narrator's basically been giving us throughout this whole playthrough. Demons, they crave innocent souls. So I think that the narrator is actually a demon tricking us into maybe giving our soul up willingly. Wow, there's a lazy parrot. One of them's real buff. <laughs> What? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, Miss Fortune, <laughs> watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear, <laughs> we need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. <laughs> I love when kids swear. I had this one really good moment that my dad really likes telling people about. Somebody was annoying me, like poking me, and I turned around and I shouted at them, don't piss me all over. Pirate parrot, bird, num num parrot, lifespan, 10 to 20 years, diet, omnivore, widespread around the parrot, a planet. Story, this kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but they say very little. They usually work together with human pirates, natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. It says, the num num parrot. This kind of parrot lives... Okay. There's also an owl here who likes to read. He's got a Look, coffee. This bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. Why? It says, Owl Delicious. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. Okay, so it's a hipster. It, it's just a hipster. Oh, there's that bird that flips everyone off. Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. I damn well think it does, actually. Thank you very much. Wow, look at that thing. It says, Fuck it, Ilios, this shit you. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional 
offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, that was a needless amount of swearing. Okay, some leaves here. Steal bird seeds? I'd love to! I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. Sunflowers. Very nice. Uh, now, I actually have a bit of a problem with the state of zoos, to be quite honest, because when you get to a point where you realise that these animals are kind of caged into one location for their entire lives, you start to realise that they're basically um, emotionally dead, in a sense. Maybe I'll give it to the hipster. He looks like he needs a feed. <sighs> Come, Berda. Eat your food, Berda, Berda. Is your name Berda? <laughs> Berda. <laughs> Berda. Berda. Let's throw it at the pirate, see what happens. Yes? There you go. Mm. Robert and Mary, are you enjoying the food? <laughs> you like it. Oh, is that supposed to be a reference to uh, Blackbeard? I think so. Here you go, bird. Have some seeds! <laughs> Bird, come eat your food. I love you. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. Feed it. Feed all the birds. Now, when you do go to a zoo and you kind of understand their lives, uh, they kind of pace around with this blank expression on their face, and the reason for that is that they're by far not stimulated enough by their environment, and all purpose for their living has been just absolutely taken away from them. You see it most in lions. Whoa, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area, so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. What is a wolf? There it is. There's a wolf. There. No. Try again. Ah. Uh, this. There. No. Try again. Ah. Uh, this. There. The entrance. No. no. Try again. Uh. There. there. Right there. No. Try again. Ah, uh, maybe not there. How about here? There. No. Try again. How about here? There. No. Try again. Well, what about this goat? There. No. Try again. Is a bear a wolf? There. No. Try again. What about a flamingo? There. No. Try again. What about this polar bear? There. No. Try again. Uh, what about these birds? There. No. Try again. Huh. Do I try the moose? There. No. Try again. How about this bear? There. No. Try again. No, I mean this this bear right here. There. No. Try again. What about this dog? There. No. Try again. Ah. What about this comfy looking house? There. No. What about this pink bird? There. No. Try again. What about the giant rabbit? There. No. What about this fox looking thing? There. You see? But they will be. Great job. Let's hurry up now. Oh god, I'm so smart. Nailed it! Put some glitter on that. Alright, I'm sprinting past. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed. Like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No. Hormones. Ah, oh, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You'll get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, oh, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Put some glitter on those on those there sanitary pads. At the bottom of the fountain. I'll take some. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he was good. Hmm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's gum up this fountain right here. Oh! I sparkled 50 <laughs> times and got an achievement for it. Yeah, have some more sparkle. So, the narrator actually seemed really knowledgeable on how to grant wishes, so he's either a demon or a djinn. You know, where, where genies come from, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll know. I wish 
I could write Japanese so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hiro. But where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. He is jealous. And Raid is super jealous of your ability to uh, medium. Ah, look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. What about the lion? Can I get attached to the uh, lion? Ah, look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. No, Don't okay. Get too Don't worry, I'm just looking. Like, I wouldn't get too attached to it unless I got it surgically attached to my body, which I probably wouldn't do. This looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Okay. There was a sign that literally just said WC on it. What is going on? I oh know, is this like a Metal Gear Solid thing? Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Ah, oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I'm a little ninja. You hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. It's like red light, green light. Oh, I am so good at red light, green light. Oh, oh no! Like <laughs> a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you. And, and then give her from behind? What? No. Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen like all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. You just look a lot cooler on TV. That groundskeeper has a crow for a face. Are you seeing this? It's literally red light, green light. I'm gapping it! Oh. <laughs> I'm like the Shadow Ninja Master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. <laughs> you better watch me when I nail this one. Okay, I think there's gonna be like a weird timing thing, right? Like she's gonna look, she's gonna turn her back and then she's gonna look again. Ah, she did! So now would be a good chance to run. Sorry, right, right this second. Uh, yes! I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I got an achievement. Ninja Lady, sneak past the janitor. Woo! Glitter in the water fountain. There's a wolf We're here. We're getting pretty close. Okay. Let's go. Let's not have a drink of water despite not eating for days on end. Oh, very nice. I know exactly what this what's my doodle is. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. It fits. So it's going to give us some text, right? All right. Uh, future Jensen, do you want to come and, like, translate this for me? Not particularly, man. Uh, not after what happened last time. But what do you mean? It's been done. Dude, I mean, uh, look. Yeah? It, it looks like it could be translated, right? Well, yeah, but you're just going to make her no, say... No, I won't make her say it. Just just have a go at translating it. All right, fine, but this is your last All chance. Right, great. Okay, looks like the last but word... To Sanarsedi is twisted by the malevolent... I cannot believe you. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Sorry! F you! God, I'm in trouble now. Okay, so we could probably take this rock back with us, right? We already read the slate. We can just take it with us. Oh, no, I don't want to put it back. Come on. All right, let's take it with us. And now let's leave the screen. Yes. Good. Do we glitter it, maybe? Ah, oh, maybe not. Here we are. And nobody's us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, 
much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address like a ninja. Well, you gotta admit, her single-mindedness is actually very consistent. What if Look, we continue past? There's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. Oh, look! More poetry on the bench right there. Here you go, buddy. Have some glitter. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet-looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, all right. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. All right, so we've just learned that Benjamin's name is actually Johnny. What's in here? Do you think there could be a key in there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja, got it. Further like off through the window. Little lady, Miss Fortune, the ninja lady. Alright. Oh, would little you look at that? Ninja lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already. I'll find it. You'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. Alright, uh, let's quickly go into H key. And we'll look in the system registry files. Maybe we can find a clue in the computer. Yeah, but it needs the password. I'll find it. I know what it is. It's 6969. Ah, oh, what do you mean, no? All right, game. Any keys inside the bucket? Nah. All right, we tried. Any in the boot? No key inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. Yeah, she has mad ADD. What's in the I'll jacket? Check those pockets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. All right, okay. eight nine four five. I think. Eight nine four five. Safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. If the wolf runs at you, ready to attack, then you should not have any regrets because you're about your life because you will most probably die. It's got a typo on it too. Who would buy this it poster? Says, safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. You shall not have any regrets about your life because you will most probably die. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets, the wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that to takeaway from that. Uh, there is in fact a chest over there. Let's check this Is box there of... A key in here? Oh, I think there's a voodoo doll. Another doll. Sorry, I'm covering it. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? Yo, that's us. We must be the broken heart. What's so what's... that? Nothing. What's the gift from the beyond, possibly? There is a furnace here, lit. Mm. Do I smell tea? Fancy. Fancy. I love that. Okay. Huh, a secret inside. Fancy. Fancy. Uh, oh, what was it? Uh, uh, five, six, D, nine, two, something like that. Check out my computer skills. Ah. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. I don't think don't so. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Four, five, six, eight. I don't believe the narrator. I, he hasn't said a single correct thing in this whole game so far. Oh, yeah. Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez is a computer scientist. You really surprise me. <laughs> a private shot. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Are you going to read it out or can I? Is that a code? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Okay. Yuriana Orwell. Hi, you there? Played about. Yeah, I was in the toilet. Well, oh my god, what the hell? No need that info. 
How's the air infection? It's fine. Super, we can talk some other time. Take care. That's a penis. I forgot to tell you, there's a spare key inside the safe. You need it sometime, it opens all the doors and cages. Code is 27581. Okay, I don't think I'll need it at the moment, I already have one, but thanks. Feeling much better today. How's the bear doing? It keeps sucking that popsicle. Is that normal? I'm not sure, but I'd like to watch. Lol, gotta go fix Kelvin's cage. All right, Yuriana Orwell has to be absolutely dead, right? So what was the code? It was 8632, uh, I still can't find it. Uh, 27581. 27581. Let's go do that now. 27581. 27581. 27581. 2, 7, 5, 8, 1. Nice. I wonder if this game was actually made for children. Yes. I'm the best little ninja lady. I got the key. Great. Well done, Miss Fortune. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Fancy! Fancy key! Can we do anything else on the computer? No? Okay. I wanted to see what was in the recycling bin. You can learn a lot about people by what they put in the recycling bin. Alright, let's go into this cage right here for no reason other than because the narrator said so. Uh, uh huh, time to meet the wolf. Yes, it is time to meet the wolf. Uh -huh. Come, Wolfie, come. <laughs> Let me fetch you. I'm a nice person. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, oh, damn it. What scared him away? Why can't a little lady suspect the wolf? Oh, You're cursed. That was unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. That's tragic. I'm gonna take it. But really handy. We are alive. My evil cousin's address. Fox! Skogs sticking 15 open fields. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait yes! Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? We're going to Phantasmagoria! Yes. Woo! Oh, sweet. I always wanted to go. Yes. Let's get spooked. I can't wait. I love, like, horror conventions and stuff. It is so much fun. Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Yeah, sure. sure. My question answering skills are all warm up. Great. Great. And, as usual, just be honest and you'll do fine. Do your worst. First question. Have you ever heard this question before? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. All right. Second question. Have you ever lied to a friend? Yes, it was in high school and it's because his girlfriend manipulated me into convincing him that she had taken her own life. I do it all the time in school. Charlene still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. I just walk behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's so sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen someone die? Oh yeah, I've been on the internet a long time. You can't miss it. I Literally cannot miss it. Died. It was very calm. Not like in the movies. It was different. I told him to come haunt me as a ghost, but he hasn't done it yet. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. Exciting! What? Who tells their beloved to, to haunt them? That's horrible! Uh, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? Dead bird! Oh no, that's definitely a ticket. Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. Okay, I'm willing to. Is that a skeleton? <gasps> Creeper. <laughs> Creeper! There we go, let's glitter that up. Nothing scarier than glitter. It 
it says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. Oh, thank you. Little! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've ruined it! You've ruined the magic! A ticket for real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> thank you. Why does she look like she's made of liquid? You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. What's the bit that's like dynamite on the boat or something? <gasps> a ghost! Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's no excuse. Okay. This is what I mean, by the way, when I said earlier that there's a strange theme of the preservation of innocence that this narrator keeps just forcing on us, right? It's like he doesn't actually want us to age. <gasps> a creepy clown? That's creepy. Uh, yeah, I know, right? What's it? Oh, balloons! Can I have one? <gasps> oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. Can I have one? Can I have a balloon? I'll throw glitter everywhere if I don't get one. All right, fine. Looks like hey, everybody's going to have glitter. The other side. Oh, yeah, Miss me? Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her. All right? Yeah, sure. But uh, obviously I was going to try and have fun anyway. It's a video game. Hmm. I just have one ticket so I can just ride one ride. I'm going to look around first. All right. I want to ride those stilts. Let's ride the hot dogs. Ew, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now I don't want to eat hot dogs. Oh, I get it. She saw how the sausage was made. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh! Ah! Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. Okay, the narrator is definitely doing a psyop on us, right? This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. Yeah, it does look that way, doesn't it? Glitter! Okay. There's a band over there that plays drums and piano. That's a weird combination. Don't know how you'd hear the piano. Check out those sweet unicorns. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? No! Absolutely not. not. Sure yet. I'm gonna look around more. I don't think those unicorns are sweet at all. In fact, I think they're lame. I think those those unicorns are lame. The mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. The what? Nothing. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, what's in this bin right here? Ah, oh, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, oh, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I Don't can use it. the party hat to make my own mixed candy cone. Come Don't on, eat it. Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Don't do it. Ugh. Are you really gonna eat some of it? This is the one time I'm telling you not to eat candy off of the floor, right? You just don't do that. It's absolutely vile. Of course, it's free candy. Delicious. Gross. <laughs> Um. Ugh, that's really gross. There's a cigarette butts in it. Oh, who would have seen this coming, huh? She's gonna be face down to pile of her own vomit. I guarantee it. She's got a broken heart. Uh, my heart hurts. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. So did yeah, I. That's true. Silly me. Happiness to Miss Fortune. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, much better. <laughs> You're gonna need a bit more of that. Good grief! 
There we go, I'll throw it all over that still walker's tights as well. All right, so that's all the time I've got for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Little Misfortune, and right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And of course, just over there is my subscribe button. You may as well do it. And until I make the next episode, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!